Quoting a verse of the glorious Quran from Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40, which says, Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim mirjalikum walaki Rasulullah wa khatim al nabin wa kana Allahu bi kulli shayin alima. Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but he is a messenger of Allah. He is the seal of the prophets. Allah is all knowing, full of knowledge. Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger, the last and final prophet. He was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. The Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humankind. In Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَفَّةَ لِلْنَّاسِ بَشِيرَ وَنَزِيرًا وَلَكِنَّا أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ That we have sent thee not, but as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the humankind yet do not know. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because he was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humankind. And the Quran says in Surah Sabah, chapter 34, verse number 28, but most of the human beings yet do not know. وَلَكِنَّا أَكْسَرًا نَاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ just because the Quran says that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger, we Muslims believe in it. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 56, hadith number 429, the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, all the messengers that came before me were sent only for their people. But I have been sent as the messenger to the whole of humankind, to the whole of humanity. Just because the Quran says Prophet Muhammad is the messenger for the whole of humanity, we Muslims believe in it because we believe that the glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the Quran also says, But most of the humankind yet do not know. The non-Muslims, they do not believe that the glorious Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the word of Almighty God. So that's the reason they do not believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger for the whole of humankind. I've given a talk, is the Quran God's word, where I've proved undoubtedly with reason, logic and science that the glorious Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If any unbiased human being sees this lecture of mine, he will have to agree that the glorious Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we cannot force every human being to see my lecture, to see my talk. The Quran gives us a formula. In Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, which says, Kul, ya hilal kitab, say, O people of the book, Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wala nushrika bihi shayyo. That we associate no partners with him. Wala yattakhi zabaaduna baaddan arbaaban min dunillah. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. Fainta wallahu. If then they turn back, Fakulu Shadu, say he be witness, be anna Muslimun, that we are Muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This verse of the glorious Quran, Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 64, according to me, is the master key for doing dawah. How to convey the message of Islam to the non Muslims? Ta'alo ila kalimatin sawa im bainan or bainakum. Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've given a talk on concept of God in the major world religion, where I've proved from the scriptures of the major world religions that there is only one God. The second most important point in the religion of Islam is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger 
ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहाना तला ऑफ ऑल माइटी गॉड 